this simple mindset shift will literally collapse time and manifest all your desires so much faster. Hello, my babe. Welcome back to the channel. I hope you're doing well. Don't forget to like and subscribe so I can keep making more content like this. <laughs> If you're already familiar with the law of attraction, you know that manifesting is a pretty straightforward process. All you have to do is know your intention, align your actions, align your energy, and then allow the thing to come to you without self-sabotaging it. The self-sabotaging part really has to do with your core beliefs because if you haven't embodied the new identity of who you get to be, then you can still manifest something and then end up self-sabotaging it or it like comes to you and then goes away. Maybe you have like a surge of good luck, but then it just goes away or ruins itself. This is probably because you didn't do the inner work to shift your core beliefs. So you're still the same person. It's like, new phone who dis but like the person is still the same person answering the phone it's just a new phone <laughs> so you need to be new person new phone new everything who dis <laughs> When you are manifesting, when you're using the law of attraction, you need to focus on the identity aspect. You need to create the new upgraded core beliefs. You need to have your intention and you need to look at that intention and ask yourself, what are your current core beliefs around that? If you're manifesting money, if you're manifesting a new job, whatever, then you need to ask yourself, what are my core beliefs around money? How do I treat money? How do I feel about spending money? How do I feel about earning money? What did my parents teach me about money? What did I learn about money in school? Is money hard to earn? Is money easy to earn? Do I enjoy spending money? Do I feel tense when I spend money? Do I feel happy? Do I feel abundant when I wake up in the morning? What things make me feel abundant? What does abundance mean to me? All these kinds of questions will literally help you understand what your core beliefs are. And if you do this properly and you give yourself time to be honest and think it through, write it out in your journal and you will see that a lot of the beliefs are good, but there's going to be a few core beliefs that you have around money that are not going to be so beneficial. Maybe you believe that in order to earn money, you have to work really, really hard. Maybe you don't believe that it's easy to earn money. That is a really bad core belief to have if you're trying to make more money, because then that essentially means that in order to manifest any kind of money into your life, it's going to mean that you have to work really, really hard. And if you have an aversion to working hard, if you feel like working hard is not your thing, then you're probably going to honestly like self-sabotage that and automatically disqualify yourself from ever being able to make more money because you truly believe that in order to make more money, you have to work hard and you're not willing to work hard or you're scared of hard work or you are scared to feel burned out or whatever, which is totally valid. But because you have that core belief around money that is just not really benefiting you, you're actually blocking yourself from manifesting that thing. So you can follow the law of attraction, you can do all the steps, and you may get temporarily more money. Maybe you'll get lucky and get some kind of refund or some kind of random deposit or some kind of weird thing will happen that you will get more money, but you will qu quickly lose the money you will quickly have some kind of scenario come up where you have to spend the money. Or if you do receive the money you asked for, it will literally not penetrate you. You will not feel the gratitude for it. And in the moment, you will just be kicked into more of that survival instinct and say, okay, I need more money. I need more money. I need more money. You won't be able to enjoy this new thing you manifested because you haven't shifted your core beliefs around abundance. So a new core belief could be, it is easy to earn money. I can work hard if I want to, but I don't have to work super hard to earn money. Money comes to me with ease and flow. It's just as easy for me to attract money as it is for me to spend money. The more money I spend, the more money I attract. 
Every time I invest in myself, I receive that money back times 10. These are just some of the core beliefs and affirmations that I do every day because those are the beliefs I want to have, right? If I want to be wealthy and I want to live an abundant life and not stress, then that's what I need to believe in order to have that life. So examine what your goal is, what is your manifestation, figure out what your current core beliefs around that are, upgrade them. Remember that you get to choose what your new core beliefs are. You get to choose your affirmations. So figure out who you get to be, figure out that quantum identity that you get to tap into in order to have that manifestation. And when you're able to embody that energy and do the inner work to kind of shift your identity versus simply manifesting something physical, then nine times out of 10, the physical manifestation will come on its own. It will happen automatically. Now, when I've been able to shift my identity into being and embodying a full-time YouTuber, I have an online coaching business, I sell courses, I do one-on-one coaching calls, and I'm always looking for new businesses to start, new companies to invest in. I have a stock portfolio, good amount of savings for myself, like all these things that I'm trying to manifest, I didn't manifest the thing, I manifested the personality. I manifested who I got to be. And once I embodied that being, like all these things kind of happen on their own. I didn't necessarily have to put in more effort. Like for example, if you know anything about, what is it? Amazon influencer program, right? Essentially you can shop on Amazon. And then if you have an Amazon storefront, if you sign up for the influencer program, you can then share the links to that. And if people use your link, they'll make a, you'll make some like small commission. Now it's really, really low. It's very low percentage. I'll make sense off of a good purchase, but The good thing is if a lot of people are using the link, then all those little cents can add up to good money, right? Simply from living my life and sharing what I am already buying and using. Well, I have been a part of the Amazon influencer program for, I would say at least a year, maybe two years. And I've been posting the links, literally made zero dollars. (laughs) I... I started doing the affirmations. I started embodying the identity of being that influencer that people actually use her link and want to shop the the things that she's buying and she's sharing, I started doing those affirmations. I started saying, people are obsessed with my clothes. People are obsessed with my daily outfits. Everyone wants to buy the same things I'm buying. People want to use my link. Like I started using these affirmations and I'm telling you within like less than a month, within weeks, I started seeing money coming in through Amazon. So at first it was like $10, $11. But I'm telling you, I had made literally $0 in the whole year and a half that I had already been on there trying, putting in effort and trying to like manifest the money instead of focusing on the identity. But as soon as I started focusing on that identity and doing affirmations from a point of self-worth, from a point of like shifting who I am versus what I have, and like the physical thing, then I actually saw the results. And it's been building every single month and I've been making more money from Amazon Influencer Program without necessarily doing any more work than I was already doing. I mean, now I'm like motivated. I'm like, oh, I wanna post more on my storefront because I actually finally see the money coming in. But literally a year and a half of trying to manifest it and it wasn't until I started embodying that energy that I finally saw the results within weeks. Like it was very, very fast (laughs) compared to the amount of time that I've been trying to manifest it. So if you're having any trouble with your manifestations or you feel like it feels really forced and you're not getting the results that you want, then try to shift your perspective from manifesting the thing. Forget about the thing. Who do you get to be? What are going to be your beliefs and assumptions in order for you to easily have that thing? in order for that thing to just come without you even thinking about it, without you even putting any type of effort effort or trying to manifest it or anything. It belongs to you based off the fact that this is who you are and these are your beliefs. 
So embody that, of course, if you have any questions about it, if you want to work with me one-on-one, -on -one, you can always book a session. I also have the Rewired Play Shop course, which is all about reprogramming your limiting beliefs, so that way you're manifesting better things on autopilot. All the links for that are in the description. But with that being said, I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye! Mwah. Love you.